Nathan, this is... Steph Tolev, hello. Hey, hey. I'm not a porn star, just before everyone gets... I have to put it out there. I'm a comedian, I don't do porn, so don't be all looking at me going, Ugh, what the fuck? I joke about my labia, I make fun of my pussy, but I don't show it. I have shown it, so people have seen it. Maybe he'll see it. Also, <laughs> just right now, and here it is. <laughs> anyway, this is, uh, you're actually the first comedian we've had on the show. Oh. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. And uh, uh, to speak of what we're cooking you today, I was thinking, because you said you're going, going on a diet for eight weeks, right? Yes, big what kind, diet, Like yeah. what kind of diet is it? Like a really hardcore, like counting your macros, weighing all your portions out, like ground turkey, bullshit. Oh yeah, it's like this girl runs a program called uh, School of Thought. She's amazing. She like does huge transformations for mm -hmm. people. So I want the like before and after pick. Um, I want to look hot. I want to look thin. I want to look tight. Mm, nice. This is not that meal, is it? This is not that meal. <laughs> you said you wanted something fatty. that was fatty and yeah. fucked up. So what yeah. we're doing, have you ever had a uh, country fried steak? No, I never have. Okay, well, with it's that, but in a, okay, so you know what Texas toast is? Like, no, what is it? Dick, dick sourdough toast with uh, buttery garlic parmesan on it. Mm. Uh, those, then I'm gonna make garlic mashed potatoes, and I'm gonna do chicken fried steak, I'm making the white gravy with uh, ah. chunks of bacon there. Oh my god. So the whole thing should be about that thick, and, oh yeah, and uh, fried onions. Oh my god, this is good. Yeah. Oh yeah, see I gotta get I gotta fatten up before the fucking diet yeah, happens. Yeah, no, so this is wow, this yeah. is I'm gonna gain ten pounds. I can't have sex tonight now. Yes, but no no you can't. You you're you're you're, you're carb loading. You're carb loading. Okay, I can. Hey, Dante, can you grab me the flour from down there? Wow. This is have you made this before? No. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, a lot Wait, of, I'm excited. Uh, a lot of the times when I make uh, food, it's actually the first time I've made it. Oh, okay. Um uh, so this one is a th uh, just something I was like, I love chicken fried steak, I never get to eat it. So this is giving me the opportunity. Yeah, because you can't really eat it, can you? Because you're Mr. Fit. Yeah, I have to, have to. you know, people don't want to look at a fat, chubby piece of shit uh, from the guy, especially when you're doing POV. No, they don't. And guess what? Uh, that's the majority of them. <laughs> I, I hate to break it to you. You're one of the only ones that doesn't have that disgusting gut. Again, I'm not, I don't do porn. That's why I don't do it, because I don't like my body. My body stays underneath clothing mm -hmm. while I do comedy, because <laughs> we don't want it out there. But you, you're one of the few. Oh, well, thank you. I've seen his stuff. Have you? I, I have seen your stuff. Quite quite a bit of it, actually. Oh, yeah? Maybe too much. Well, yeah, I'm yeah, glad yeah, you, yeah, yeah, I yeah. You, I I'm a you fan. Like I hope you like it. <laughs> Did you, you saw me on Netflix. So yeah. I, I'm a real comedian. I have to say real comedian. I, I'm on Netflix right now. Um, anybody wants to watch me? No, I uh, was actually going to ask it because yes. um, I didn't know you were on that. So uh, this was before I... Uh, Asked you to come on here, or no, no, after I asked you to come on here, because we've had this plan for like a month, I guess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you smell a burn thing? Oh, I Christ. do smell something burning. I'm like, something is for sure burning. Electric stove sucks, balls, something got stuck under there, so. Okay. Like, if I smell burning, I think we see burning. That's a fire. That's, yeah, it's not those are, those are Those are flames. <laughs> There's clearly no um, smoke alarm in here. No, no. <laughs> Coming from the guy who's going to get lit on fire. We uh, haven't, we haven't got that in the budget, so. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But anyway, let's let that go down for a second. But yeah, so you saw me on... I saw you uh, on there after I got you on the show, and I was like, Dude, look at the bitches up there! Oh, uh, God! So, uh -huh, I think, uh -huh. uh, Dodger, were you here watching that too? Yep. Yeah, I think we had a handful of people. was like, oh, she's gonna be on the show! Sweet! Yes, that, so that was So, how was that? Awesome. Was that, was that your first big production like that? Yeah, that was my first... Uh, yeah, I've done a couple tapings before, a couple in Canada, but this was my first, like, big American... Like I've done some for Comedy Central and stuff, but mm -hmm. this was like massive. Like yeah. three, four cameras zooming into the crowd and stuff. And it was like, and Bill Burr. Like if you guys know who Bill Burr is, he's a very amazing comedian. He recently found me on Instagram. This is how the whole thing started. He like saw my videos, thought I was really funny. And then he put me on this fucking special. And it's crazy. Cause like everyone else on it is like David Tell, like Jeff Ross, like mm -hmm. Jimmy fucking Carr, like it's big names. And then my sorry ass on there was like, who the hell is this bitch? Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Funny. I did good. Oh, I, hey, I don't say, I'm funny. I, I know I'm funny. And I did very well and I'm very happy with it. So you can watch it on Netflix. Yeah, Bill Burr presents Friends Who Kill. Um, just eyeballing things here, really. Not. Nah, there's absolutely no measurement. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely <laughs> zero yeah. measurement yeah. happening here. Just flopping it all. I mean, I was, I was a chef for seven years. So. Oh, okay. Well, that makes yeah. sense. Oh, Sorry, okay. this, I didn't isn't know just, this isn't just me just okay. like yeah, fucking like. Oh. Okay, I thought yeah. it was. I was like, this is wild. Over no, here. no, this eyeballing is, things. Yeah, okay. no, this is actually, I've been, I've done this a lot. So it's like, I haven't made this particular dish. I've made dishes like this. Oh, okay, okay. So everything I've got in here is something I've done before. What don't you do? Porn, chef, <sighs> lighting on fire, stunts, parkour, um, I mean, a county. 
counting. Yeah, you're probably really dumb with numbers. Yeah, not huh? really great with no, no. numbers. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, no. No, not, not the best. Uh, no, no, you're too busy nutting. I feel like, doesn't that get you tired after you nut? Does it? I don't know. I, that's what people say. Most guys pass out after I have sex with them. Uh, maybe that's me. Maybe I'm not doing a good job. Maybe I'm boring them to sleep. I'm like, good night. <laughs> good night. Well, uh, let's, let's put it this way. It's like, uh, guys usually when they pop their nut, if they don't practice, the, like, or they don't keep that uh, ability going, yeah. they get tired because that's just a lot of, ah, huh. yeah. and a lot of guys okay. most of their life, as soon as they come, they go to sleep. Yes, yes. Exactly. See, I have that religious background where my, uh, like, where it's like, I come and I'm like, I don't want anyone to see me, so I gotta keep running around. So, oh, wow. Yeah. You're just coming outside, I guess. Yeah. You're just out there. <laughs> what are you hiding from? God. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> God's watching. God yeah. can see. God's it's right you're religious. You, oh, I'm not. You, was your dad or something? Yeah, my like dad's you? a pastor. Okay. Yeah. Does he Good love that? <laughs> That's so funny. Speaking of dad, my dad um, thought he was DMing Bill Burr. So he got, he was very proud of me being on this. So he's like, he doesn't really understand the internet. He's a dad. Mm -hmm. So he DMed whoever Bill Burr was, he thought on Instagram going, hey, Bill, thank you so much for giving my daughter her big break. Mm -hmm. And then he sends it to me, he goes, sorry, I'm talking to Bill Burr. Because this guy replied right away saying, my pleasure. And I'm like, dad, that's not Bill Burr. He's like, who the fuck is it? I go, I don't know. I don't know who that is. Who the fuck am I talking to? I'm like, welcome to the internet, father. Welcome to trolls. You're probably talking to the, some fucking big obese man who lives in his fucking parents' basement who's pretending to be Bill Burr. Like, did he ask for money? <laughs> no, no. Th He's I, like, hey, if you want your daughter on again, you know. Yeah. Okay. Literally. Really hilarious that he thought he was talking to fucking Bill Burr. I'm like, you're absolutely not. Why would he reply that quickly? He's like, I thought he was a nice guy. I mean, you think Bill Burr's going through his DMs looking at you fucking, no, replying to some psychopath man? Absolutely not. Hmm. Oh, um, but speaking of that, how Bill Burr found you, mm -hmm. literally around the same, I think the first time I saw you was maybe right after quarantine. Uh, like the whole quarantine happened and I saw videos of you popping up everywhere. Oh, really? So you actually, when I got on your show, I was like, oh shit! Oh! Because yeah, awesome. so are you from Canada? I am. Okay, yeah. Yes. I remember like seeing a bunch of videos over there. I was like, dude, these are great videos. They're funny as fuck. Ah, oh, look at me. Yeah. Porn stars are watching me. They see I'm popping all over the place. Yeah, yeah. I got really into TikTok during the um, during the whole pandemic. Didn't we all? Didn't we all? We yeah. Yeah, you went crazy. Like some people, like you know. Especially comedians, like, what else are we going to do? We have no other outlet here. We have yeah. to do something. We have to create characters. We have to keep ourselves, you know, in the public eye, I guess, because otherwise, everyone fucking forgets about you very easily. Mm -hmm. A lot of content, yeah. A yeah. lot of making my parents do fucking videos. A lot of, like, stupid, a lot of stupid shit. Oh, uh, but, but they were funny, man. Yeah, it paid off. I yeah. think it paid off. Now I'm like, because for so long it wasn't paying off, and now I think I'm finally, I'm like, okay, yeah, people actually, the right people saw my videos, and, um... And that's what that's matters. Good. That's so it. Long, right? <laughs> Look at this. This smell. What's what's the concoction in there? What's so, the cream in there? Uh, let's see. This uh, what is smells it? very tasty. That is a. Uh, what is this? Uh, it's pankyo with a uh, flour, uh, salt, pepper, uh, salt, pepper, and um. Can the you, fuck else? Can you do me a favor? Check that mic. Work now? Sorry, one second. Can you give me sound? But it's not. How's that? Hello? You hear it? <laughs> oh, but should I entertain the people on Twitch yeah. still? They're like sitting there watching. I'm just like, hey, these people are. What? I don't get how Twitch works. The people are just watching this live right now. Wait. I, I would like to say I know. I really don't. I have no. I've never ever been on Twitch I, in my life. This this has been one of those things where it's all a, a pro, trying to figure out how to promote yes. myself the best way possible. Okay. Because the more sites I'm on, the more people who are like, oh, he's not just a porn star. He can actually do other things. Yeah. So, right. it's just trying to figure out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is yeah, it working? Yeah. Cool. Sorry, Twitch people. I was on my phone texting a man. Ooh. Ooh. How big is it? Pretty big. I thought. Yeah, very big. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, yeah, Good yeah. Stuff. Look, I, you know, it's yeah. nice to have a. It's nice to have a. It's nice to have an honest oh, swear. Oh, I think I think the real thing is because not a lot of people understand this. Just because you have a big cock doesn't mean you're good at sex. No. But. Is he good at sex? Yes, he does. Does he know how to use the sword? Yes, because he does. Even in this industry, I hear a lot of complaints from girls who are like, 
man, this guy's just got the big cock, and I'm worried to work with him because he's fucking gut punching my cervix all the time. Yeah, it's fucking yeah, and it hurts. It hurts. Yeah. It's yeah. not good. No, no. I'm not gonna say it's huge. It's like it's bigger than average, and he knows how to use it, which yeah. is it's nice. I've been with you know babies before, baby, not not children. I've had sex with children. <laughs> I, I haven't. Now, that's, that, someone's gonna cut that clip out and be like, oh, I've had sex with children, that's gonna be a fucking gif of me. Uh, baby dicks, what are they called again? Shrimp. Ba baby shrimp dicks, baby dicks? Baby dicks, like, um, um micro penis. Micro penis. Yes. What's this? What's small? It's like, give me a, like, give me a. Micro was this. Nice. Nice. I felt There's bad. There's a certain point where it's like, I'd almost be proud to show off mm. how small it is. No. I'm not gonna get laid. You, but well, you physically cannot. Yeah. I feel bad. They should, they should have, like, they should have support groups, and they should all get money. Oh, so yeah. There should be like GoFundMe. I remember anybody. seeing a video where the it looked like it was a, a belly button, right? Yes. And the person was doing this, and all of a sudden this thing shh, like just came a bunch of like, Ew. what the fuck was I just watching? <laughs> that was it. Like your clit. I've seen clits bigger than that. Yeah, yeah. I've worked yeah, with well. girls who took steroids, and their clits about the size of my thumb. That's what happens when you take steroids for women. Yeah, yeah. oh, I was, I was, I'm, I'm like, I go down there, I'm starting to suck. I'm like. Huh. Am I gay? Yeah, this is like, it's, <laughs> it's this that is, big. Yeah, like you're like you're you're now it's like mm, you're sucking on it. Oh, that's I thought mine was big. Now I'm feeling good about yeah, mine. I feel like oh, mine's small now. Oh, you're really yeah. okay. Yeah. Wow, and then and now you're gonna put your that thumb back into the batter. Great, this is <laughs> wash my hands. Hey, I get tested Look, all you, the time. You get tested probably more than anybody I get tested every 14 days. Oh wow. Yeah. Full in there? Do you do it yourself or do you go somewhere? No, you go somewhere. You gotta get tested at certain places like if you work in the industry. Every 14 days, fuck, that's a lot. Yeah. And I, most people, most average people will only get tested every six months. That's Yeah, average. that's not enough time. No. You, I just went uh, two weeks ago. Clean as a whistle. I know, okay. Well, that's a good thing for homeboy later on tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. We'll see if I'm too full. Mm -hmm. You're like you're gonna be you're gonna be yeah, too full. Uh, you might want to do it just to get to work work this stuff off. Uh, well, I'm always gonna have to go maybe for a hike after this. To really? Oh yeah. No, I'm gonna be sleeping. I'm also hungover as shit right now, so I could be. Sure, you don't want that whiskey? Mm, like maybe I do want whiskey. No, no, I'm good. Huh? I don't really want drinking here. Drinking mm -hmm. alone. I mean, I could. I drink I'll, alone a lot. I'll no. I'll have a small one with you. It's like I don't want you to get fucking on fire right now. Oh no, no, I'm fine. What am I doing? Here, what? Yes, that. So you do, do porn stars ever want to do comedy? Because I know there's a thing with like musicians, how they want to be a comedian, comedians want to be musicians. Uh, no, a lot of actually uh, porn stars end up trying to do comedy. But the mm -hmm. problem I've seen, from what I've seen, is they go for so much shock value, and that's all they have. Yes. And it doesn't seem to work out. One of the things I've, I've said on the show a bunch of times is like, I think porn stars and comedians, or at least male porn stars, uh, have a similar fear where it comes to bombing on set. Yes. Well, because yes, 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 you yes. bombing with you coming out there saying all your jokes, you made up all these things, and you're going out there and giving it your all and just fucking dead. Mm -hmm. I go out there thinking everything's good, my dick doesn't work, and then just, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like I don't, don't want to yeah, be here either. <laughs> um, so I was always thinking, was like, there's a similarity right there okay. that uh, yeah, that is both yeah, people yeah, get yeah. destroyed, and you have to kind of get desensitized to it. I, yeah, I, I've only seen, I know a couple comic, uh, porn stars who do some comedy. Mm -hmm. I know Lisa Ann did a little bit, Lisa she did like some roast stuff. Um, um, Stormy Daniels. Stormy Daniels, oh yeah, that that whole thing. Yeah. I never saw any of her material though. Mm -hmm. I figured like, all, oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I know uh, my friend Sylvia Sage does it. She apparently had a, a special on um, Comedy Central back when it was a doing things. Okay. Um, nice. I had a I knew a girl named Nikki Knightley. She was trying to do it. Um, and it's also it's hard. That's a hard. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh oh! There was a girl that was at the comedy store. Um, blonde girl. Fuck! What was her name? Um, uh, Katie Kennedy. Yeah, Kate Kennedy. Kate Kennedy. Kate Kennedy, or they maybe changed something else. Yeah, I was like, but that's uh, she was doing. She was at the comedy store for a while, like doing the like the back room talk. The belly room. I was like, yeah, yeah she's. I don't think she's passed. No, like, no, 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 no. I was like, no. I'm like, I, I would know. Yeah, but uh, I think she just moved away. I don't think it was, things were working out so much for her. So okay. Yeah. Besides it's. Time. I mean, it's hard. I feel like you gotta pick. You gotta pick one thing. It's too. You can't. It's too much. Think that not you. I mean, I, mean, I mean, like with comedy. Like with comedy, it's, it's every fucking night. Yeah. Like I got where I am because I did comedy every fucking night of my life. Yeah. Tell us about that, because I work. Some, I'm always curious to hear from like comedians. Like, what? What's the drive? How do you do it? Like, what? What is it? Like, day to day, what do you do? 
day to day, well day to day now, since it's all fucking about posting clips, I try to post uh, one clip almost every day, either a stand-up clip or character or like a podcast clip or whatever. And then most nights I'm doing shows. Okay. So like the other night I had three shows, the night for that I had two, like I'm, it's, a, it's a lot of fucking, it's a lot of grind. Okay. I have meetings in the day, you're trying to write new jokes, you're putting out more content, you're recording podcasts, it's like, it's fucking nonstop. But if you're not doing all that shit, then you're not fucking trying, you're not doing enough. Yeah. Yeah, but I started years ago. I've been doing it for a long time. I started when I was 18 years old. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm an old fucking geezer. And I started in Canada. You have to get a green card to move out here. It's a whole ordeal, so. Yeah, that that, that alone is just the biggest pain in the ass. That yeah. was something I didn't really understand how hard it was to come here to work. Mm -hmm. Until I've had, I've just had a lot of people in my life that were from different countries, like from Australia. And for some reason, my naive brain back in the day was like, Oh, Australia, Canada. It's like, we just interchange people. We're all the same. No, 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 no it's, no. there's no... Yeah, there's no cross-border credit checks. When I moved here, I couldn't get a fucking apartment because everyone was like, who are you? Where's your credit? You have zero credit. You're fucking 30 years old. I'm like, yeah, I don't live here, damn it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and you have to like, you know, if you come out here from another country, you have to be fucking good. You can't come out here and be dog shit and be like, hello. <laughs> hey. No one knows who I am and I'm also dog shit. Like, you have to come out here. And also like, you know, leaving Canada was a big deal for me and I didn't want to, it's my first time I ever moved like out of Toronto. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to like... I could never go back. That was my thing too. I'm like, I worked too hard. I'm like, I'd be so embarrassed if I like didn't make it out here and I had to like go back to Canada in a couple of years. I'm like, hey, I'm back. Sorry, I'm shit. I'm like, no, I'm fucking coming out here. I'm working my ass off. Yeah, I got passed at the comedy store and uh, I'm one of the first female Canadians in the last like 30 years to be passed there. Dude. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a big deal. I know. I know. So it's, yeah, hard work. Guess what? Hard work does pay off. Yeah. Turns out, your example, you know, he's... That's soon going to be an example. Hard work. <laughs> Just yeah. keeping it hard yeah, is the Yeah, keeping it hard. Um, one of the things I was going to ask you is about like your character that you made. Now, how much of that is r real life and how much of that is just something that you went... You Very saw? real. Very so real. Uh, that energy when I have when I go on stage is like, I, it's clicked years ago. Like The second I walk on, I'm just like, oh, like this bolt of energy comes out yeah. of me. Like, Sometimes it's not there, but it's majority of the time I'm like a crazy person. Mm -hmm. um, but everything I say on stage is like uh, pretty real because I don't ever want to be compared to somebody else. I want someone to say I'm saying someone's joke, so I like most of my jokes come from real places. Okay. Except the syphilis thing. <laughs> I didn't actually have syphilis. Or chlamydia, what the hell did I say? That I didn't have. <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> I'm clean, I swear. Um, mm. No, that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that I didn't have, but everything else I'm like. You know, the 69ing story, the joke I do in there is about a real guy who refused to watch my comedy. Can't wait till he sees that. Wait, you, you, most guys that I fuck, like, are interested in comedy, want to see it. And this guy was like, I never want to see it. I go, you never want to see it? <laughs> All right. And then, uh, you know. Why? I don't know. It's annoying. I'm like, you need to see it. This is my life. Yeah. It's like, you don't care? Like, he's like, no, I just want, I'd like to know you how you are. We are now. And I'm like, well, guess what? You're never going to see the fucking me making fun of your long ass balls then. So, on Netflix. So now here's another question because I've been finding this out a lot where guys seem to be very intimidated by women who are sex successful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, have you run into that? Especially since you put uh, that have in. Have I run into that? I've been single for seven years. Yes, I've run into that. <laughs> men are terrified of me. Yeah. Men are at, in this city especially, men are fucking terrified of a strong, powerful woman who's like, and they see my set. They're like, that's what you do. They think I'm a fucking lunatic, which I am. I'm not saying I'm not. I'm not saying I'm not crazy. I'm, I'm unhinged, that's for sure. But I'm like, I think it's I think it's very you know, it's a lot for men, especially a funny woman. Most yeah. guys are like I want a funny girl, and then I'm like I'm hanging out, making other friends laugh, and they're like that's too much for them or something. It's so strange. I don't like it. Look, I want. I just want a nice man. <laughs> I'm gonna get the worst DMs I've ever had in my life. Like I, these are so yeah. The Netflix usually I get like bad DMs. Yeah. I usually get guys call me fat and ugly, and I've had this for years. And anytime I have something come out, I'm like I ignore them. Whatever. I don't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Guess what? Everyone who says that has no photo. I'm like, oh really? The guy with not a single profile picture nope. is calling me fat and ugly? Uh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. We we get it. But this yeah, is... I get the lovely religious rights people, and those are just fantastic. Oh, God. Oh, getting so mad at you? Oh, yeah, they're like, they, they want me to turn to Christ, but they don't... They always message me on pictures that don't have anything to do with sex. Like, how dare you? You're going to hell. I'm like, this is a picture of me working out. Yeah. Fuck yeah, you. <laughs> but, yeah. Is there nothing to do? So, the, yeah. Here, read off some of those ones. So, this one today, I got this one, or this one I got yesterday. Respectfully, I would suck your asshole inside out. I thought you were like 26. Hot, 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 hot. And then uh, I'm like, okay, not not a bad one, not a bad one. This that one, uh, that we, yeah, 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 yeah. 
This one, I really didn't like this one. Okay, where the fuck is this stupid thing? This one was bad. And I knew it was bad because it was on Facebook. So when you got something on Facebook, then you know something's up. Something, something's a problem. Mm. If you ever come to Minneapolis, Minneapolis, get ready. No 69ing. I'll let you lay back and enjoy me licking that dog tongue of yours and the mullet you have downtown. The best part of this one, I went, huh, let me click on this guy's profile and see what's up. I'm not going to say the man's name, but I did take a screenshot of his Facebook. Yeah. These are his last four posts. <clears throat> August 10th. Any woman want a full body massage? August 19th. All right, just to be clear, if you are my friend and interested in an intimate relationship, let me know. If not, please let me know that too. April 12th. Does anyone read my posts? <laughs> Is anyone single or not getting what they need at home? Are you insane? I blocked this man. That, he's unwell. Are you crazy? Like, you're, you're posting on Facebook and no one's answering you? That's an issue. Yes, I'm salivating. I'm so excited for this right oh. now. I can't even handle this. Oh, my God. Right, and now, mmm, mmm, mmm. Not bad, not bad. We're good. I mean, they're good. No, we're, hey, we're cooking gas. We're going. When I was, we're well, we're cooking with no gas. When I was, um, uh, broke in college, I used to just saute an onion for dinner. Like a full onion. I just, just like, in a just pan. caramelize it or just? No, 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 just with butter in a fucking pan, just to sit and then I would eat a whole bowl of an onion. Huh. <laughs> it was really broke when I was 18. No, yeah, I, I moved to my parents' house when I was 18 years old, and I moved in with eight guys. Uh, uh, I went to college. Nice. I dated one of them, so yeah, I was fucking one of them. No, um, I, I was. I was <laughs> I, 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 hey, we're hoping for more of a story of like you know fucking all of them. No, 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 no. no. They're friends. They're friends. They're friends. No, I definitely fucked the one. Hey man, I, um, I fuck a lot of my friends. Yeah, I think that's all you do is fuck your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you fucked all of your friends, there's like one friend you haven't fucked. Hey, hey, still options, bro. Yeah, there's still <laughs> options. I mean, we're not. It's not over yet. Where this is the night's young. <laughs> Mm. Uh, no, but I've, I've fucked most of my friends. It was the yeah, I feel like that's part of the path. Like, yeah, you know. it's, uh, I, I didn't realize that until I got a fiance, and she's like, who haven't you fucked? I was like, mm. your friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> your friends are the only ones. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when's the wedding? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, we're still trying to figure that okay. out just because okay. we got engaged right after quarantine, and basically mm -hmm. her family's from England, so trying to get them over here, Okay. it's a, it's a whole thing. So we're still waiting for the airlines to be good and all the stuff oh, to get back yeah, to yeah, good yeah, place. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So you are engaged. Are, are a lot of porn stars engaged? Um. Or in like some. Uh, it, it depends uh, where you're at in the industry, where you're at in life. Okay. I find this job is super lonely. Um, like very lonely. Oh, really? Yeah, because I have 30 seconds to get to know a person, fuck them, and then probably leave. It's like I don't really get to okay. know these people. Cause there's like a lineup of stuff like filming. Yeah, it's you know, like, like she's in makeup, she's doing this, mm -hmm. the camera, the, the director maybe or may not want you to be fucking around with them too much because, you know, they, they, they need to be makeup ready and they don't yeah. want you to fucking come early. So there's a whole bunch of things you try not to do. Okay. So yeah, I don't get to, uh, it's a very interesting job. You don't really get to enjoy the sex as much as yeah, you Yeah, I'm like, it's also, I've never, I, I never thought of it being lonely. I yeah. think stand-up's also lonely if I like go on the road oh, yeah. and do like road gigs where I'm like I'm in a fucking Ramada Inn in like Ohio alone on a weekend. I'm like this sucks. Like, yeah. Unless you bring like openers with you, which I definitely want to do more and like bring my friends with me because otherwise I'm like I don't want to be in Houston alone in a fucking Holiday Inn yeah. on Tinder trying to get my ass sucked. Like I'm like I just I mean I do do hey, that. And there's a guy there. Guess what it works. <laughs> guess what it works usually. Uh, <laughs> guess what? Yeah, I can usually find somebody in a in a city that's like, what? You're, most people outside the city think it's cool that I'm a comedian. Yeah. In the city, they're like, so you think you're funny? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. It's my full-time job. I, I, I actually am funny. Sorry, it's the one thing. Do I, do I say anything else about myself? No, I say I'm funny because that's the one thing I know. I think that's at the same point when people are like, oh, what, you think you can have sex? I'm like, I, I this, hope yeah, at this that's, point. Yeah, at this point. Yeah, I'm like, actually, yeah, it's most certainly what I do. If yeah. I can't, um, sorry. <laughs> Like but I do, I do know I can have sex in very uncomfortable positions for a very long time. Yeah, that's yeah, ladies, that's uh, and your fiance doesn't mind all any of this. Well, there's always things that like are ups and downs in a relationship. Yeah, there's yeah, just yeah. lots of communication, but it's just like yeah, I'm sure if like, you were like with a guy, there'd be certain times where like I don't want to see all these other people gawking or doing things to you on stage, or I don't want to read your posts. So you just like no, you work on no, that. That's absolutely that's absolutely not related at all. No, no, no. Well, see what? I, no, I, nobody wants to ever fuck me after I come off stage. You saw my set. Yeah, I fuck you off stage. Well, yeah, but this is what you do. This is, can you shut the cameras off? <laughs> um, this is what you do. Most men, when I come off, they're like, "Hey, that was really funny." 
and they're like, all right, ta-ta now. Like, they're not like, hey, that was funny. Do you want to, like, I've, I've been doing comedy for, what, 19 years now? Mm -hmm. I have made it a rule that any time a guy did come up to me after a set and was like, if I was single, he'd be like, what's up, go hang out? I would fuck them, and I've only fucked, I think, four men from shows. Hmm. Picture how 18 years old I started doing comedy. That's a lot of shows. Yeah. It's not a lot of men hitting on me. Very few men hitting on me. Hmm. So there we go, that's it. That's so now I, I, don't think I've, I don't think I've <laughs> fucked that many girls outside of the industry since I got in it. Probably five or six maybe. No, it's not. Because at yeah. certain points, like I gotta make sure that I keep my loads ready for the shoot. Keep I gotta, your loads yeah. ready for the shoot. That's... Cause you don't want to be like <laughs> drained the next day. And so, yeah. There's a... Do you, can you eat, you know the certain things that you can eat that can keep the loads bigger and... What loads so um, disgusting? Honestly, loads yeah. bigger? No, dropping loads, bro! Ew, um, ew. Bricking on your face. Uh, no, it's uh, there's certain things you can eat to make it better, but mostly I just try to eat healthy. Yeah. Uh, drink lots of water. I take some vitamins that help out a lot, but yeah, like otherwise it's stink. Mo most of the time it's just up here. It's okay. just it's just being able to mind fuck yourself and to be able to be horny when you're not horny. Like I've okay. I've said this a bunch. I've, I've had to do scenes right after my best friend died and he died. And I took over his scene. Oh, I've had to do. God. I've had to have sex with my grandpa died. I've had to do Jesus. I, a lot of real fucked up scenarios uh -huh. where I had to uh -huh. go still do those things. Yeah, and um, which also makes you fucking question a lot of things about yourself. But you know, that's the same with comedy too. I had like yeah. I found out my friend died uh, on the way to a gig like a few months ago, and I was like. Okay, yeah. you still have to be funny. I'm sorry, yeah. you, you, you can have your little cry in the car, but the second you get on stage, that cry is over and like try to fucking use that. How do you uh, handle those days? Like, let's not even say you're like your friend, but like the days where you're just like, I don't want to, I don't want to be funny. I don't want to do this. I don't want to be funny and I don't want to do <laughs> <laughs> But like, and how do you, like what kind of preparation do you go through to like get yourself ready for getting it up there and you're just like, I just gotta let it all out. Yeah, pff, fuck, I don't know. I play really pump up music in the car on the way like to gigs sometimes. I'm like that classic shit like that. Or like, you know, I do the whole like, not a, a mantra to myself, but I'm like, this is my job. Like, yeah. this is what I chose. I am funny, I can be funny whenever I need to be, but I'm like, I bombed the other night for the first time in a while, like, bad. What, the other night? Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, like, uh, bad enough where like, my peers were like, Oof. like even the bartender was like, I've, Never seen you do that bad. I'm like, I know. I don't, I don't think I've seen you do that bad either. It was like epic bomb, like like ten minutes of silence. But then I had two other shows that night, and I did very well because I like the energy I had going into it. I was like pissed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, this is now now we're worked out. Yeah. How does? Because I know how it feels. I if it were similarity to bomb on like my side. How is that? Like what? Like how is that? How do you bring yourself back out of that? Cause it is really hard. Yeah. I, I use tequila this weekend, um, but usually it's like, if it's a really, really, really bad one, I sit in my bombs really. I take them really seriously. I'm like, well, I'm shit. I'm like, well, wh how did that happen? I'm like, it was the same jokes the night before, mm. the night before that that do well. So what the fuck am I doing that's not like? What did I do differently? What was it? Sometimes I know I come out a bit too aggressive, and I'm like, mm. you know, I. Scare the audience immediately. They come out like, "What the fuck? Suck my ass!" And I'm like, yeah. "I don't know what we hate you right now," and that's what happened in the day. Um, but sometimes, sometimes it honestly is the crowd. Like, I, I hate to like blame it on that, but sometimes it's like, yeah, it is the crowd shit, and mm. that's that. But it's it's like if the comics that don't mind bombing that are kind of like, "Oh, whatever," and like continue on, I'm like, that's the problem. You should be like, "Why did I do that? Something is wrong." Mm. Like, there's so many comics that still do comedy and they're not getting better, and they keep bombing. I'm like, how are you not like? If, unless I have an absolutely, and I say like getting applause breaks, I go home and I'm like, well, that was a bad set. What did I do wrong? Let's mm. figure it out. Like, some people are like not not finding that. Are you reading the comments? What are the people saying? <laughs> are they bad? No, no, they're fucking shit on me. <laughs> okay, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, get, I'll, I'll come at these fucking trolls. <laughs> no, no, they're not. Read me them out loud. Give me their handles. I'll come no, out right now. Sometimes uh, on tw uh, Twitch we have a group of people who just say fucked up things that don't make any sense towards the show. I think they just come on the live and just start talking shit. Oh yeah, yeah. About yeah I'm sure. No, right now it's just uh, Scott uh, going back to us having sex. He's like, oh, nobody believes. That's the guy in the front house. Nobody believes. Oh, okay. Nobody believes that you two haven't had sex. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fair. I don't. I still Shut don't. up, Scott. <laughs> You've done gay seeds, haven't you? Have you no. Not? No? Oh, yeah, yeah. We talked about this on my podcast. If you haven't listened to the episode of me and Nathan on my podcast, please listen to it. Steph Infection. Yeah, it's funny. Um, it's very funny. Actually, yeah, my producer says the hardest he's laughed on any of the episodes. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Fuck and I have yeah. a lot of comedians on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
I can't remember what we talked about. I just remember, I like, remember you asking me, so, like, oh, what's some fucking things? Porn stuff. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. I'm like, I'll fucking give it to you, man. Oh, I, you gave it to me. You <laughs> gave it to me hard. Into it. Into yeah. it. No, I, I, I'm also like a pervert. So I wanted to hear all about the fucking, all about the porn industry and the ins and outs. Yeah, I'll do it. If you ever want me to come back on, I love talking about stuff and I like hearing my own voice. So, do you? Yeah. Do you love yourself? Um, it's a love hatred. Okay. Uh, I really uh, hate myself most of the time. Okay. Uh, but there's times where I get to talk about things that I know, and that's why I'm like, yeah, finally. Okay. Because I've been doing something for so long, and I get to actually talk about things I know I'm knowledgeable, yeah, knowledgeable yeah, yeah. about. Yep. Yes. So like, I've just never heard anyone ever in their life say I like hear my own voice. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Usually comedians like when I have to do like an audition, I'll, I it's hard for me sometimes to listen to it back. I'm like, oh god. Yeah. Listen to this. The <laughs> fuck is that? Why are people listening to me to begin with? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Because you're not just a pretty face. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Oh, fuck. I had a question. Damn it. How many vaginas do you think you've seen in your life? I know I've done over a thousand yeah. scenes in six and a half years. Um, That's a lot. That's and a lot. and the difference between being a guy and a girl in this job is that guys work with different girls almost every day. Girls right, can okay. work. There's only like. 50 guys in the industry. Yeah. And that's in Europe and here and wherever else. They get paid full time to do this. Wow. Um, so I'm. A lot? Yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you don't have an exact number. I'd be like, that'd be creepy. You're like, actually, I have my tally. 3,472 and a half. I actually have my um, sex list on my phone. I keep it on here. Really? It's pretty at? good. Yeah, where we at? I think we're at, um, let's see. I don't have the exact number, but I believe we're at. I don't have the exact. That's no, pretty good. It's pretty good for non-porn star. Look at this. Nice. Uh, some of them are just emojis. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know. I don't know everyone's name. I understand. One is drunken just a night. shrimp. Yeah. One, oh, there's a lot of yeah. these are drunken nights. I think I'm probably around eighty. That's all the numbers. Eighty-five, That's maybe. All the numbers. Maybe ninety. Who am I kidding? But <laughs> probably more. Um, yeah. I mean, not no no thousands. Yeah, but um, th again, it's like, in order to get those kind of numbers, it's like, that's even scarier for someone who's not fucking people who are tested all the yeah, time. Yeah, no, it is scary. And yeah. shockingly, I've only, I've never had, like, anything that bad. Well, I had HPV, but that's... Who, who has it? Who does it? They got a shot for that now. If you don't have HPV, you're not fucking. Yeah. Sorry, I hate to break it to you. <laughs> um, would you ever do a gay scene? That's my question. Uh, no. Is over 4,000? Are you asking me? No, this is... Uh, uh, what is that? Are you are you saying it's over four thousand or over nine thousand? No, four thousand. Oh, does he know my number? Interesting. Wow, knows your number, huh? Mick Blue. I don't know who. Mick oh, is. Mick Blue. He's a he's a porn star who's been in for fucking ever. Oh, and he knows. Yeah, he knows your numbers. He's got the tally. Sheet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's just a weird tally at home. A bunch of spreadsheets. He's just like clocking. He's like, oh, another scene. Let's put that down there. Would you say you would never do a gay scene? Oh yeah, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't do another, uh, sorry, another, I wouldn't do a gay scene mm -hmm. because, um, I just, you, I go to set a lot of times and I have to deal with people who don't want to be there and people who don't want to, like, uh, don't want to fuck. Yeah. And doing that, I don't want to give that to someone else. One, I have to be in something uncomfortable, yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. doing, I'm going to have to shoot my dick up. Um, oh yeah, no, no, And yeah, 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 it's yeah. like, there's so many downsides, the money ain't worth it to me. Yeah, okay. Um, Is it more money? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, wow. Huh. That's interesting. So, yeah, I can make a fuck ton more money. Okay. Just, I just don't want to because it's just, it's not worth it in the long run to me. Uh -huh. But I'm already doing a job that, I mean, I have to deal with girls that just don't want to fucking be there sometimes. Yeah. So. That's, which is wild. Yeah. I and think I'm going through my, I think I'm going through heat. Mm -hmm. For women, I think this is the age. I'm 37, and I'm like, I think this is peak. Oh, yeah, that's your, that's your. I'm uh, losing my mind. Yeah. I, 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 I must have it. I you're, must have it all the time. You're at where I was when I was in junior high. <laughs> I think I am. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm just like nonstop. Yeah. Sick. Running out of batteries, left, right, and center over here. Um, if anyone's got a good battery guy. <laughs> You're bad. <laughs> I was like batteries. Uh -huh. Like batteries? What? No. No, but I can't get to discounts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna tag Costco, be like, hey Costco, can you sponsor me for my, my vibrator needs? Um, which they could. Hey, Dodgy, grab me a bowl. Yeah, because yeah, I can't. Bulk. Yeah, I gotta melt this a little bit. 
Got a mouth of butter. This is. It smells really fucking good. Thank you. And uh, oh God. it's gonna taste real good. I'm just trying to get everything lined up and do it coming out at the same mm -hmm, time. It's mm -hmm. gonna get warm in here if you haven't already felt that. I'm, I'm sorry about that. soaking wet. I'm glad I wore shorts. Yeah, I'm glad you did I too. Because otherwise it, it gives me warm. almost a sense of it. Be, you'd be able to see your vagina, so it's a good day for me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's tucked in. Huh. We have it tucked, <laughs> tucked up. <laughs> I'm saying tucked in. You're tucked like in. it's tucked. Yeah, just a it's regular tucked. bowl, bro. Uh, I gotta sneak in the microwave. Oh. Yeah. Thanks, like sir. Well, you like the fake wall? Yeah, the fake wall. It looks real, though. It does on camera. I guess it looks real. You're just hiding shit back there. Yeah, it's funny. I have a, a, a buddy who does mainstream like camera work, and he's like, dude, I can't believe anyone believes that wall. I'm like, dude, a lot of people think it's a real yeah, wall. Yeah, it looks on camera. It looks like a real wall. Yeah. Um, I love when this guy had your number. Like, I would have no idea how many stand up sets I've done. No fucking clue. Yeah, that's uh, not a like just the amount from starting like. Because when you first start, you're doing like three, four open mics a night if you can. Really? Oh, yeah. You're just, you're grinding. And if you're not, if you want to be a comedian out there and you're thinking about getting into it, you got to just start doing it nonstop. There's mm -hmm. no, there's no schooling that'll make you better. You, even though I went to pretty much clown college, but there's no schooling that'll make you better. You need to go out and just do it every fucking night. Like, that's mm -hmm. it. Uh, what's your big aspiration as a comedian? Like, do you want to like play somewhere? Do you want to do arenas? Um... Well, it's about to come true. Um, oh. What's that? A num there's a site you can get numbers from to find out how many people you fuck. Oh! Huh, so someone's out there doing a tally. Someone's out there really Fucking tallying. Shit. And they say that, of course, traditional numbers from uh, concentrating or that shit. Okay. Huh. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm, my, my goal was always to sell my own show. Like a cartoon or... There. Cartoon or like a live action show, um, and to like play like a really, I want to do my, I want to tape a special of mine in Toronto right. at like a big venue. But I will be um, opening up for Bill Burr in Toronto this summer, August 23rd, 24th, at the Scotiabank Arena, 20,000 seat arena, biggest show I've ever done in my entire life. Damn! Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shameless plug! Um, it is a shameless plug, and it's my biggest brag, and I want. To punch your dog in the face. She's so fucking cute. Um, I got very distracted by just seeing your dog move. I'm like, look at her fucking little head. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a big deal. So that, and I'm like, I, I want to see if I can throw the first pitch for the Toronto Blue Jays. I want to get my manager's ass. I'm like, fuck it, I don't care. Dude, that's fucking awesome. I know. I mean, look, things are happening. The Netflix thing is a good, is very good. You look so fucking cute. I could just suck that back right now. Oh, wait, give it a second, because oh, I got I got some so other things to do good. with it. You're like, please don't eat the butter and the, the melted butter and the garlic. I mean, I could. No, I mean, I've done it before, but I'm just I saying, mean, give it a second, because yeah, I got Yeah, what do you eat? Because you keep, you have abs, so you can't be eating like this. No, no I can't. You can't. You, one of the things that people don't realize is when you start, uh, one, I learned how to cook from, from being in the kitchen. Once you get good at cooking and you realize what you need to eat all the time, and you, if you can base your calories and how you work out, and what kind of food you're eating all the time? You can, you can. eat whatever the okay. fuck you want on certain days. Okay. Just as you get older and older, you kind of kind that's of have to stop problem. doing certain things. Yeah, that's the problem. I feel like I'm at that age. But like, yeah. So it's like if you start doubling up on the working out, and mm -hmm. then also just trying to maximize what you eat, and trying to eat as healthy as possible, or more like vegetables and meat. What I do is mostly vegetables and meat. Yeah. And then just work out a lot. Also, uh, yeah, how often do you work out? Two times a day? Uh, I wish. <laughs> It'd make it a lot nicer for me. Um, but like, I think we do uh, once a, or once a day, usually. Okay. It's too much. I hate working out. Oh, see, I... Uh, you like it. Yeah, I love it. And yeah. also, I do a lot of... Um, a lot of interesting stuff because like that whole thing out there is all parkour so yeah, we set yeah, up yeah. everything to do flips and uh, so you're we do doing fun things like that otherwise it's just like i can't just go for a run i want to die yeah no I, i it's like i try to make things as fun as possible because i have bad add so it's like i need something that's going to make me motivated yeah. to get up and do it in the morning mm. and so that's why i uh mm -hmm. i make my own workouts he has to come over here and endure the fucking terrible things i put him through all the time so oh, he, oh you, you make him do stuff Yeah. Mm. The plot thickens. Oh, wow, 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 yeah. You for sure had gay sex. <laughs> no way. No, you haven't. Are people enjoying this Twitch stream? What are people saying? I don't know if anything works. I think I've ever gone live on Twitch in my life. 
Oh, I just missed the call. There's my family. Tell family. Tell us what's up. No. <laughs> um. There we go. Sometimes there's lulls in this show because I do have to focus on cooking and Yeah, no, then I got distracted there. Sorry, I'm like, yeah. this is... No, just give me a heads up sometimes. What can I do? I can... I'll just keep talking nonstop. Yeah, you just keep talking about it yourself. So you've had... Is it mostly porn stars that come on and do this? Um, because of my job, it's... Uh, those are the yeah. people I'm readily available to. Because I was looking online because it, it goes on Pornhub, right? Yeah, I put it on Pornhub. Put it on Pornhub. So you, the reason I put it on there, they give me money no matter what. YouTube blocks me from doing a whole yeah. bunch of shit. It's uh, very annoying. Yes, it is. Because yeah. I was looking, I'm like, the, the episodes with the women that were wearing a little less clothing do a little better. Sorry! No, no, no. Sorry, it's, boys. You ain't seen these areolas. It's just... Google my dad, and then you'll see the same test if you want to see him. It's mostly What's just this? Uh, the chat. Oh, I can be in the chat. Yeah. She's funny. I love her shit. Ah! Thank you. Why is Dante so pretty? Oh, excuse me. Because he wears eyeliner. Ask me anything. Is that what you say? A A ASA. I don't know. Do people a ask questions? Sometimes. Sometimes you get people to ask things, sometimes you don't. Uh. Ask, oh, ASA, that didn't mean anything. As I said, that's not, that's not how you say it. <laughs> I don't know how to say anything. I don't know how to use this. I don't know how to use this phone. What is this phone? This is from the future. It's the, uh, the Galaxy, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. ASA, what does that mean? That's not a, that's nothing. ASA is nothing. I don't think. ASA, that's your... Yeah, I said that. I don't know. What does that mean? I, I, I don't know. And then I had to say, ask me anything. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. People, like, I go live on um, TikTok a lot. I haven't done that because I already got... I was like 40K and then I got deleted. And it seems... Like um, what did you post? I don't... I think it just said something about me saying porn. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I was uh, doing a VR scene and I was, I was clothed. The girl was clothed. But I was just showing the camera rig. Uh -huh. So you watch VR, I have to be like this, where there's a camera in my face, so you can pretend like you're my body. Okay. And so I was like, uh -huh, porn stuff, and I said something uh, like that. Oh, that will do it. Yeah. Because there's things you can get away with. There's a guy, I don't know what his fucking name is, I make fun of him a lot. Jake. Let me show you this guy. He's like a fucking, he's a big, uh, oh, what's, what is that? What is, let me explain right now. He's a big um, TikTok guy. I make fun of him all the fucking time. Is he the guy who has the ducks? No, 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 no. He's like a, where the fuck is this guy? He's got a big fucking dog. Jake something it is not coming up. Jake, I, he's like a model or something. Anyways, he he posts that his penis is flopping around. Like it's like loose pants. And I'm like, how is that allowed? Like I can't say fucking vagina on here. I get shadow banned all the fucking time. But this guy's full cock is hanging out. Like it doesn't make any sense. You know what? If you go to mine, I'll show you one that like I'm surprised this never take it down. This fucking guy, Jake Andrich. He always does fucking like 12 million followers. It's all his fucking penis swiveling around in his fucking pants. Like it's all, why didn't let me go to it? God oh, damn it. I'm gonna try to fit it all in. He pretends that like people are sucking his big dick, whatever. I don't fucking know. I refuse to follow him. It makes me insanely mad. Like this, he just posts literally him dancing and his dick flopping around, right? He does, like how's that allowed? Floppy, floppy. It's also bad. He thinks he's so fucking hot. I hate him, I hate him. I mean, I, I would have fuck a him. weird face. I would fuck him, but still. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look, I don't, I don't fucking send me his link. I don't fuck a lot of men with abs. Most comedians I have sex with or people after shows are like, you know, beer drinking bums. Yeah. Not a lot of abs out there. Yeah, not when it comes to beer. Uh, no, no, like, no, no. Every time I think about like, oh man, I want to have a beer. Because it's like, hey, everyone smells nice. So okay. you don't drink a beer? What do you, what, no, you I do. Drink, you do. Okay. I'll drink beer, but it's just not that often. Oh but, my God. I'm not having sex tonight. This is insane. <laughs> I'm going directly to bed. Hiking? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm uh, oh, shit. I, you said you want something. I I did I did this to myself, but I'm I don't hate it. Very thick pieces of toast. Very Yeah, this is so it's a sandwich we're having a sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. This is fucked. And we all eat it and they watch us eat it? Well, how does that work? Yeah, no, basically what I do is it just takes However long it takes me to make a meal, I talk to you the whole time. We eat a couple bites, and I tell them to get the fuck out of here because oh, I'm like, it. I don't want to keep eating in front of you no, guys. No, I just want to. It's odd to, for. I mean, people get off on that. You know this. Is there any porn like food porn like that where you yeah, like? Yeah, it's eat? called uh, mukbang. No, I mean like when you actually fucking eat at the same time. Not really. That seems uh, like you it's get too a, much. you get yeast infection. Just really. Yeah, it's like not like sugar. eating. Oh, okay. Sugar in your mouth, like even when I'm chewing like gum or something, I try to spit out and then brush my teeth. 
Oh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, because that's, uh, I'm that's like, good huh. for the vagina. You should know you would know this. I somehow know a little bit more about vaginas than most women because I'm around them all the time. Well, you, most you know how many bloody sponges I pulled out of bitches? Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, so they are fucking on their period. Yeah. That's wild. It doesn't stop. You're like, yeah. yes, yes, it does. Kind of have to. It's like. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't go off of, of It's a week's work. Yeah, it's a week of work, and it's like you just gotta. They bloated. <laughs> Gotta, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like you just yeah, gotta... Yeah, there, there it is. Get the full act out there. Let's get some Parmesan on that bad boy. Oh, this was, this was an episode of Seinfeld where George and his girl eat during sex in the kitchen. Yeah, I remember that. And then, is that the same one where Kramer like started eating in the fucking shower because he couldn't stop eating? I mean... Oh, I don't know. One it's thing, so another thing I want to talk to you about. How do you deal with heckling? I love it. Yeah? I mean, don't it's heckle. Been, speaking of Kramer. I mean, yeah, fuck, that was ruined his career. Don't, don't heckle, because people always think that they're like, well, I'm adding to the show. No, you're not. We have yeah. jokes planned. You're not making the show. You're an annoying comedian, so if you want to go to a comedy show, don't yell out, unless you're like, unless someone talks to you. Like, I usually ask people where they're from or how they met or whatever, that kind of shit, and like, then, then interact with me. Hmm. But otherwise, shut the fuck up. But it's always got, it's usually men. Or super drunk women. I almost fought this girl and I got so fucking pissed off. She was talking the whole time. I'm like, shut up. She goes, no. I'm like, then get out. Then fucking go. Like, everyone's annoyed. Everyone's like, getting mad at her. I usually can shut them down, though. I usually can say something well, funnier. Especially if you're 18. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, yeah. They always think it's like the funny one in the group who wants to yell something out and add something in. It's like, you're not... You're not going to be funny. It's not going to happen. Yeah. I've never, I'm glad I'm hungover. This is a very good hangover meal. Oh, yeah. I, I, guess what? I was up all night having sex. It's mm. a problem. I, I look at me go. I mean, excuse me. <laughs> Huge brag. Yeah, no, I was up pretty late. Um, now I'm sleepy. This is what oh, happens. you're going to be way more sleepy in a second. <laughs> no, I'm going to bed after this. It's absurd. You gonna, you gonna do this? You gonna eat some food? You might see someone get lit on fire and then you can go to bed. They, are they gonna be getting lit on fire the second this is done? Uh, well, they're gonna show up like my, as soon as we're done. I think. Oh shit! So getting lit on fire. So what is this like? A what is this? Is this a, do people do this a lot? I didn't know this is a normal uh, thing people do. Well, we're, we we're all everyone who's here is stump people. Oh, this whole house. Is yeah, that they're oh, all okay. stump people, and I moved in here because that's why we built the whole backyard the way it is. Oh, uh, okay. So okay. I uh, we uh, started teaching people to do fire burns. I used to work at Universal Studios, uh, lighting, and I was the one guy got lit on fire. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that that's was what I did cool. with when I uh, got into porn. That's what also I was doing at the same time because I had to leave my job in the kitchen and um, go get lit on fire. What a wild life you lived. I try my darndest. I was like, your dad's a pastor. You're fucking. Chef Boyardee, you're getting lit on fire. You're sucking clits left, right, and center. Like, it's just like this. That's, is that the sound you make when you do it? Sometimes. What's the best vagina you've ever had? That, that's... There's no, there's no best one? No, because, uh, again, it's it's not like there's any better than others. It's... I, I After you fuck enough people, it's not about how good the pussy is, not how she's moving. There's some girls who are better than others. Mm -hmm. Your personality wins me over every time. Okay. Yeah, the lamest answer ever. It was like, but good to know. No, it was good to yeah. know. But like, I've I've worked with so many girls, and at this point, man, it's like it really helps if you're just cool. Yeah. If you're cool and you want to fuck, I that will trump everything else most of the time. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's like if you just like are cool and nice, and then you just start telling saying all the things I told you to say or like do things I actually asked for. It's like, oh yeah, I'll come automatically just because you like listen. <laughs> so is that is that how you get to come when people like ask you like the specific things that you know you're like if there if it gets to the point in the scene where like okay it's time to come yeah there's specific things where you like do this yeah I'll be like do this do this and sometimes they listen sometimes they don't if they don't then mm -hmm. it just makes the day a little tougher if they do we get it done. Do you like to get your butt fingered? No. No, because it, it also you understand like anything like that kind of translates over to the gay side, and you if you don't usually cross over those. Okay. No. I just mean like in, I I thought guys liked it. I went through a phase where I was fingering butts. Did did you just surprise them with it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, big surprise, big surprise. Oh yeah. Turns out they don't love it. <laughs> Turns out they are not obsessed with it. Yeah. Well, one guy liked it so much that I thought all the guys liked it, and then one guy was like, no. So one of the things I tell most guys who ask me about sex. Ask questions, guys. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Yeah. Ask weird questions. Because once she feels comfortable with you, she'll probably get to a point where she actually tells you fucked up shit she yes. likes, right? Yes, 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 yes. Same thing for girls, you know? Because uh -huh. there's been, there was a time once, I like my balls squeezed. 
like my balls. Mm -hmm. I like the, lots of pressure on my dick. I told the girl that before we did a scene, and there's a scene where I'm like supposed to be hanging up, and she's dragging her foot down my chest, and then she kicked me in the balls, and I. Have to go, mm. You're like. Mm, that's... And then the camera cut. I'm like, hey. So, sorry. So, so uh, you Don't know that care. whole thing. I like you know my balls squeezed, right? She's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. You, okay. Do you like pressure on your clit? She's like, yeah. Okay. If I punched you in the clit repeatedly yeah would you be cool with that she's like no okay don't fucking do that yeah why that's because i have still i have to get hard now and fuck you and i just want to mm, choke you so yeah that's no that's okay squeezing the balls people mm -hmm. like that okay well i'll ask also you should ask yeah i think it's a, a it's a very adult thing to do be like hey mm -hmm. we're about to do intercourse what do you like what do you not like intercourse. where do you want my tongue <laughs> Where yes. do you want these things? You want to sit on my face? You want not to do this? Well, not enough people are asking. There's a lot of men out there that are very bad. You know what the worst thing is that mm. men are bad at? Mm. Kissing. Uh, very bad kissers out there. I didn't know how bad people were at kissing. Horrible. The first time I found out, me and my uh, ex a long time ago were swinging, right? And we'd go to like these swinger parties and like, and we just talk shit on these people afterwards. Like, oh my God, how are they this bad? bad. People are bad at bad. kissing. Very bad. I, I, are women too? Because I've kissed some gals and they were good better kissers than men well hopefully but yeah yeah we some men do like the tongue right in or the, like like the sharp in or like <laughs> the yeah that yeah. Ooh, it's so gross yeah it'd be sensual oh is the dog one out no she's just one water oh my gosh she's so cute <laughs> you guys can't see the dog the dog's psychotic oh they've seen the dog plenty of times on the show they should yeah everyone likes so you live here with a bunch of stunt guys and you just do crazy stunt shit all the time? Oh, most of the time, but I work a lot. That's something people don't realize. Like, I work all the did you, time. Did you do scenes this week? Yeah, I did one last night for uh, Tushy Raw. I did... Uh, hey, I watch a lot of Tushy Raw. Well, my first scene came out on there. I well, just... well, well. Maybe I got something to look at after I'm all full from this. Just <laughs> trying to masturbate. It's like, oh, it's so disgusting. Full gut, chicken fried gut out. Trying to watch you... In common, yeah, probably what's happened. Um, hey, hey man, some of my favorite days are like when you're full and tired. Just you know what? Out. You know why I like Toshi Raw? Because the men have good bodies. Yeah, they put a uh, they, they put, a put good looking guys on there. They're not putting schmucks. Some of these like what the one the casting couch ones make me physically ill. Yeah, I used to know the guys who did that one. <laughs> I'm like, it's this guy. This is this old man. He was like, makes me sick. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've watched them, but I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, why would I know this? Yeah, I might have watched them, but they're sick. Hey, it's okay. No, we've, we've all peaked. Huh? We've all peaked. Yeah. I've wa I, I usually say it like this. I watch porn not to for the release. I want to watch it now to make me feel bad and take a shower afterwards. Just, really? I, I just, yeah, you, there's no way you, because you must have enough memories to come from. Yeah. At this point. I, uh, I definitely have... Way too many thoughts and way, like, I, it's like most porn, I, I know everyone who's fucking, I know everyone. Yeah. I've seen everyone's vagina. I've fucked yeah, all yeah, these yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so every once in a while you get to work with somebody like, oh yeah, that's new. I get it. But like most of the time it's just the same shit. Every yeah, day, it's, day. it's like, I don't watch comedy when I go home. I don't watch stand-up specials. Yeah. Like I watch. Yeah, what do you, what do you do? I mean, I watch, and what do I do? Yeah. I pretty much just do fucking comedy. I, I'm trying to like. I'm trying to date men right now. I'm trying to get out there. I'm trying to do like fun things. I want to go to a Dodgers game this week. I'm trying to like go to new bars and try new things. Because otherwise, all I do is fucking comedy. Because mm. it's like now I'm at a point where I'm like I don't think I need to keep doing it every single night. I can have some nights off, so I've been like making Sunday my nights off, okay. so I can the Lord's Day, so yeah. I can pray. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> I can. You know, so, no, I'm just like I'm trying to have a night off where I, I, I be a person. Trying to go see more shows, see, you know, just more shit that's not comedy. Yeah. Because my life is comedy. I just want to go home and watch a fucking special. I'm like, I've seen too much. I, I feel like we have a similar life. <laughs> yeah, very similar. Uh, <laughs> but in the sense of working all the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no. We work. Yeah, I think we, yeah, I mean, I, I would hate, I, people who don't work, I don't know how do you, how you live. I, what a boring I, life to just sit around and do fucking nothing. It's crazy. Yeah. You feel nuts. Yeah, I, I, have, I have had too many times where I'm like, I need to do, all, I have so many different hobbies and I can't even do the hobbies because I'm working all the time. And some scenes go an hour and a half. Some days go, how, what's the longest day you worked on, Ricky? 18. 18 hours. 18 hours, one scene? Yeah. Or it might be two. It might be two that day. Okay. I was like, how the how the, the your how are their vaginas not get like raw? No, you're not fucking that whole time. Okay. People I was like, think that there's Jesus no act. like Christ. I'll, I'll get thirty page scripts the night before, have to be on set by nine, and have to go do all acting all day. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't watch the acting. 
understand. There are people, the acting's not great. Hey, so <laughs> no there are people. Offense, no, no, it's fine. Stars. But there are people out there who just watch the acting part, and they know this because we look at the we look at all the the numbers online, and people will literally come on to like watch these things and just watch the acting. And everyone's my life. I, Agreed. I don't know why either. I but also directly to the money spot. <laughs> also, to let you know, sometimes it's not the choice of us to the way we get to act. Sometimes the scripts we get are from Canada because a lot of our all all porns from Canada. Don't blame us Canadians I'm not for your bad you. acting. I'm not blaming you. <laughs> but when you tell me it's like okay, today's script is going to be volleyball, bushes, and braces. And let's make a whole thing around that. Okay. You think the best, it's like, you're not going to get the best. No, and it's also, you guys aren't trained to fucking, you know, Julie are trained. No, no. You're trained no, to fucking gape your asshole and yeah. come on demand. Like, that's what you're. And we don't really get trained. That's just something we learn the job. That's so much. Yeah, there's no, like, porn class. No, no, there's just, you got to go in there and hope you do good. I know Samantha Mack, fellow Canadian, she's a porn star. She was doing something where she was like. I love her. I love her so fucking much. Right. She's the fucking best. But she's saying that she'd have guys come audition and stuff, and she'd like give them tips and stuff, and like make them wash. She told me all this. Some guys would come in stinky dick. Yeah. Disgusting. I still never had sex with her. Ah, oh, really? Yeah, never had sex with her. Always wanted to. Ah. Oh, yeah. If you guys do, I'll come hang out. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> well, hey, hey, she's offered to eat me out twice now. Why don't you do a thing where you pretend like you're the director, and then we'll do a whole skit of us banging. You film it too, but that's so we get double the content. <laughs> yeah. I, and you just wear there with your hat, and like. Action! Go! And we no, I, I already told her I do want to do something with me in a full mustache coming in as me. Yeah! Yeah. I'm but I'm like, I can't, you guys can't actually be fucking in the scene because I, I'm already blocked on TikTok as it is. No, no, no. I'm saying we, we like okay. do the whole beginning okay. part, okay. but then you actually And then film I us. leave and then you guys have, oh, then I actually film you yeah, guys. Yeah, What the heck do I get out of the deal? Sit there and masturbate yeah. to it, and then we'll get the opposite shot of that, so we get that, uh, that I'm be not wrong. doing that. Come no, on. no, 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 no. We'll absolutely not be ever putting my pussy online. That's the one thing. My tits are out there. Oh, they're probably gonna come out. Not now. I mean, like, they're out there. They've been out there. I've sent them to a lot of men. I'm sure some men are gonna be mean and put them out there, but I'm like, please don't. If you're thinking about doing it, I'll find you and I'll sue you. Um, but never the puss. We don't send the puss. Yeah. The puss stays in. All right. I have some dignity. What? <laughs> I have some dignity. After I'm on stage being like, my big fat labia, I'm like, I don't just don't show it. It's the one thing. I'm gonna go home smelling like oil and I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> this is. Yeah, I'm like, let's make the hottest thing possible on the hottest day of the year. I did not know it was gonna be this fucking <laughs> hot, by the way. Melting in here right now. It's, uh, no, it's a lot. Yeah, sorry about the heat problem. No, no, it's fine. Oh no, I, I got rid of this. I did something. I'm sorry, I swiped away and now I don't know where, where it went. Uh oh, I, I, I'm in, I'm in your, in your messages now. I'm so sorry. Reading your dirty texts. <laughs> they're, they're not, they're not. There we go. No one asked anything. Nobody wants to ask me about comedy. Again, we're still we've been just trying to work on building that whole brand up so we can actually have a better group of people in there. So it takes a little bit of time. Okay. And also we don't have steady days where we're gonna do this. Do you have, oh here we go. So we asked me, do you have any comedians you like watching? Yes. Um, Sebastian Maniscalco is my favorite comic right now. He's very funny, very physical, very silly. Mm -hmm. uh, John Doerr, Canadian, very funny. Deborah Giovanni, very funny Canadian. Um, there's a lot of funny comics out there. I do a podcast with two comedians called, it's called Slobs. Mm -hmm. Jessica Michelle Singleton and Laura Bites, both hilarious comedians. If you're looking for new, uh, new gals to follow. Um, there's a lot. Everyone at the comedy store, like every night, is just like Anthony Jeselnik, hilarious. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah, he's so funny. Mm. He's who I bombed in front of the other day and then I was really embarrassed. Just a little more heavy whipping cream in there, just really thickening it up. I, I, I'm never having sex again. This is it. No, this is this is a very good like final I've been drinking too, because like you can't drink on this diet, so I've been like really Oh, you've been going hard. Oh, I've been hung over the last three days straight. Just like up late. Like last night I went to Good Times with Davy Wayne's, the bar. Just hammered. Just absolutely Belligerent. I don't remember what would happen. I know there was nachos involved. Oh, that was a good night. Yeah, yeah, that was a good night. There, uh, there's a band that I, I thought I knew them. I hugged them. I don't know what's going on. I, I, I was unwell. Yeah, that's. Oh my so, god, licking. You moved out to LA how long ago? Seven years ago. Seven years ago. Yeah. How do you like compared to Toronto? I hate it. Yeah. LA's disgusting. LA is one of the grossest cities in the entire fucking world. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you don't think it is? Where are you from oh, originally? Yet? No, I'm from here. I'm from Southern California. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You're no, uh, I, uh, I completely agree. It's gotten worse in the last couple of years. Um, I don't very much, uh, how do I put this? I don't like it. And uh -huh. over quarantine was the first time I thought about moving. Yes. Uh, I, yeah. I mean, we. Sh I was back in Canada a lot for quarantine. Toronto is just very clean. Canada is very clean. There's yeah, no there's shit on the streets. Like, I live in Hollywood. There's literally shit everywhere. Human yeah. shit, dog shit, no one's picking up the shit. It's shit and piss everywhere. You know what's worse though, New York? New York shows, oh my I, do, I hate New York. I'll say it, I fucking don't like it. I, uh, why is everyone obsessed with New York? I don't know. You can't have a dog in the city, there's no grass anywhere. My dog couldn't fucking piss the whole time I was there. I was like, where's she going? Oh my god, I can't. It never made sense to me why everyone loved New York so much. Yeah. I, I don't like it, I don't like being on top of everyone. No, it's gross. It stinks. The subways, repulsive. It just, it's pee. It's, it, it's piss, it's literally piss. What do I hate about being in comedy? Um, what do I hate about being in comedy? I don't know. I don't think I hate anything. I don't. I, that's a good question. I. Um, I mean, I do hate that uh, women get judged immediately. Mm -hmm. Everyone's like, women are funny. Every every time I post anything, all the comments are women are funny. Oh, another woman talking about her fucking pussy. Every male comedian talks about their cock. I don't know, I'm sorry, unless you're Jerry Seinfeld or Brian Regan, they're the only two that don't. Every other comedian talks about their dick, so stop with that fucking generalization, it drives me insane. But I hate that women are funny, or like, a lot of people DM me after the Netflix thing, are like, oh, finally a woman I found funny. That is the most offensive fucking thing. If you, if I'm the first funny female you saw, you're not watching enough comedy. Yeah. All my favorite comedians are like, majority women. The ones that make me laugh the hardest. All my good friends that are funny are women. Like, I don't know, you're not watching enough comedy. You're not seeing enough if you don't, if you think women aren't funny, then you're hanging around the wrong people. I, don't, I hate to break it to you. That's, that's just plain and simple. And there's also less, com less female comics. So it's like, if you go to a show, one woman's on the show, eight guys, that woman, maybe she has a bad night. Yeah. Like, women are funny. No, that was, you saw one woman. Yeah. All, out of all those guys, you're not leaving saying they're all funny. Maybe two of them are funny. Maybe like, it's just like, it's, I hate that generalization so badly. Yeah. The the numbers are so much lower for uh, women than men. It's just like, um, yeah, no, have it's, bad nights, man. That's like, I've gone to, what, a handful of comedy shows and like, it's like, you always see a stack lineup of dudes. Yeah. Maybe one girl. That's it, exactly. And maybe she's off her game that night. I mean, yeah. she isn't funny, but like, but there's and a lot it. of guys that and are that's funny. That's the thing, either. there's a lot of guys that are funny. Yeah. There's a lot of men that aren't funny. Like, then, or I get compared to like, no, she's another Amy Schumer talking about her clit. I'm like, I'm a pervert. I think about sex all the time. I talk about sex. That's just one of, that's, I'm not doing it to like shock value. Yeah. I've just always done this shit. Even though my TikToks are clean. Some of them are clean. A lot of mustache content. <laughs> I actually ordered some new mustaches coming in today. Um, this smells so good. I'm, oh, this I'm wet from this. this I, don't, I don't need to watch your, your tushy scene. I, I got this. I got the old chicken fried steak behind me just sizzling Yeah, this is going to be a lot, uh, lot better than my tushy scene. <laughs> Why was your first? Do you like anal? Uh, no, I do. I just, I it was again. You have a number of days where it's like some days. Again, maybe not my best day. Yeah. Okay. Everything got done. Got done in a good time. Mm -hmm. With anal, if you're not 100 percent with like an erection, it kind yeah. of bends a little bit. Okay. Because we have to keep it open and whatnot. So it just wasn't my best day in my my okay. opinion. So it's like I could have done better. Maybe a little hungover. Okay. Um, <laughs> And the truth comes out. Yeah, maybe, and like, like also, I just smashed my yeah. hand the night before. Okay. I wasn't feeling great. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot, a lot going, going on. on. So. Yeah. yeah, not my best. I day. cannot believe the amount of anal that's out there. I, I, it, the girl that I worked with It's say, hard. She doesn't eat for two days to do it. Yes, anal. I talked to Lucy Power, a yeah. very, very funny uh, uh, porn star out in Australia. She was telling me, she's like, I do, uh, what's it called? You do like the cleanses there, you don't eat for two days, you starve yourself. I'm like, this is psychotic. All for you sick pigs to jerk off to an open butthole. Mm. I can't do anal, it's Gabe insane. Butthole. Let's eat some cereal out of her butthole. Yeah. You seen that one? No, I can't. Oh, you should. I can't do the gate. I'm not a doctor. I don't need to be inside a body. Hey. I don't need to see inside there. I played a doctor, so it's kind of the same. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's the exact same. Absolutely not. I don't need to see inside there. It's too much. Keep yeah. everything closed. Put it in, pull it out. That's it. We don't need, I don't need to see what the inside looks like. People, I, people disagree. People, people out there want to see gaping assholes. It's, yeah, um, they do. They I, do. Again, strange. Is, it's kind of strange to me, but you know, it's like at the same time, then I, I start watching stuff where I'm just like, why am I watching this? I saw a guy shit out his balls the other day. 
shit out his balls. Yes. He put and his balls in his butt and then he yeah. shit them out. Does yeah. shit come out too? No. I don't like that. See, that's that's sick. And, and and you and you like why would I why am I watching this? And this is after it's repeated four or five times. You're just like, well, yeah, I'm probably gonna go home and watch it now. Yeah, no, go ahead. I, I mean, Pierce sure Paris. Pierce Paris. You do crazy things. I also saw one where he had a uh, race car going down a track, and the camera's on the race car, and the Hot Wheel track ends in his butthole, and you were completely surprised because oh, well, I didn't know it was gonna uh -huh. go there. Yeah, in his butthole. Yeah. No, it seems like oh, I should move my legs. I already have burn marks on my legs as it is. And then we drink that afterwards, right? Hell yeah, we do. That's the old, that's the old sippy cup. That's the, that's the whiskey you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Shot of that. That would actually be very good. Do men have to enema as well in the industry? Uh, Power Ranger X is asking wait, this. Wait, when, be, when I'm not doing anything with my butt? Yeah, of course. I want them to feel clean. No, yeah. I know. I don't, I don't enema. Do you ever get um, pegged? No. no. You're not a butt man. Uh, but, but his butt's closed for business. Just uh, not not my uh, cup of tea. Don't really want to do it. Okay, um, you but you, you, know you know what you like. Hey, it's like I want to give everyone else the full opportunity to say, "You do you, boo." Okay, okay. Because I don't really feel the need to do stuff like that on camera. It's no, like, no, 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 no. It makes it uh, a. Yeah, I mean, gay men must animal all the time. Yes, yes, they do. Um, yeah, like this. Um, and I got I had a guy on here named uh, Michael Boston. Very, very gay man. Um, and he was just amazing. But he um. He kind of explained the like the days, but he's like apparently most days. I think he just cleans out. Just, just, just in because morning. in case you're gonna. I mean, it's always you're always going back there. You got to keep it. Yeah. Surprise! Here's my. Does nobody get hemorrhoids? Oh, I'm sure they do. Like, like, this is my question. I I thought hemorrhoids were pretty common. Not in the porn industry. Seems as though there's absolutely zero. We uh. We don't Tell you what, most of my friends have hemorrhoids. You, you get in your thirties. Guess what? You get stressed out. It's a stressful. It's a stressful business. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe most people I know do not have hemorrhoids, mm. and so it's a little. Yeah, well, we're, and, and that's where we're, where we're different. <laughs> Your yeah. friends don't have hemorrhoids. What's going on here now? What we're making we... a roof for the gravy. We're making a gravy. I didn't know there was a fucking gravy coming out. Oh yeah. You, you think you're gonna have this without a gravy? Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't thinking. Look, as a Canadian, this is my first time having chicken fried steak. Oh, that's right. Yeah, my okay. Be this, very gravy's, upset. this gravy's a lot different than, like, a poutine gravy. Okay. Um, I've, and, I've had other gravy before. I mean, look at me. Uh, I eat gravy. Don't yeah, act like I don't gravy. Sure. But uh, <laughs> that was one thing. I, I made uh, one of my first episodes. I made poutine, and um, I've never had that gravy before. And I was like. And like the, reading the recipe, I'm like, Worcestershire sauce. What the fuck? Uh huh. And it's because it's more of a like a, a savory kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you get real cheese curds? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, real cheese curds, but then we also did like caramelized jalapeno with bell peppers and bacon oh and stuff God. like that. Oh my God! What the heck? So it was a really good one. How is there more? There's bacon coming into this now? Yeah. <laughs> this is insanity. Yeah. This this is. This is it. This is the last day of my life. I may have a heart attack on the fucking one-on-one on the way home. Well, you, you chose this. <laughs> <laughs> I did choose this. You know I did. I, I, yeah, I, I can't. What do you love most about being comedy? Oh, I thought I... What do I love most about being comedy? Um, uh, it's a fucking fun job. Yeah? It's a fucking fun-ass job. I get to go to a comedy club, hang out with my friends, drink, tour, fucking go to a place I've never been, like... It's a fun job. I just make people laugh for a living. Like it's, I, I love it. I love, and and I like. I'm at a point now where I'm like, people are like thanking me if they're going through a bad day or like because I talk so openly about having like a bigger vagina. People like thank me and say thank you for like talking about this because like you know I I do a joke on stage where I'm like, I'll, too many people are watching porn where they think. I mean now porn. I I, I will say, it. you know they're showing, but like the bodies now and the vaginas are like. Actually, like women are not getting surgeries down there, and it's like a bigger labia, and it's like much better, I think. Back in the day, I feel like it was just like you'd see a vagina as like a slit and two holes. I'm like, that's not what a vagina looks like. Sorry. Yeah. And then men see a big labia. Like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, that's what a fucking vagina looks like. Oh really my good. fucking Christ. That smells really good. This, <laughs> this smells so good. I can't believe you're not hard from the smell of that right now. That smells really good. Fuck. Mm. Yeah, I, I guess I like being, uh, I don't know, I like. I like making people laugh. I'm taking this dog with me. I should have brought my dog. Well, now she's been so annoying. When you're, uh, because I, one of the things I've always just realized is it's so helpful when people like you make us laugh, right? Do you ever feel like you're kind of a, like Tom? a medicine for people? Yes, I think sometimes. 
I think, yeah, I think people, especially during the pandemic, because people were like, oh, yeah. I, that, but that's why I did all the videos, because I'm like, I was going crazy, so it, to make me not feel depressed, I'd have to do these wacko things, because A, it would distract me all day, I would just do like, a TikTok video would take me like a day to, when I first started doing it, it would take me a day to edit it, a day to film it, and like, write, mm. kind of write it, whatever I do, but like, that, during the pandemic, the first time people were like, thank you, I needed this, I've been feeling really depressed, you cheered me up, like that kind of thing, I'm like, oh, I didn't realize I could, I had that effect on people. Mm. It uh, definitely helped me a couple of times. Yeah, I was drinking a lot and doing a lot of mushrooms. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was drinking. Ex I gained. I like. I lost some of it, but I was like drinking excessively yeah. during the pandemic. Excessively. Oh yeah, drinking a lot. Thank you. Oh, like are you f sponsored by Liquid Death? We're not. Not. Uh, porn's kind of is. Porn kind of like... got sponsored by Liquid Death. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I'm not sure if you ever heard a chick named Joanna Angel. Uh, yeah, I think jo I have. Yeah, Joanna Angel uh, is now the East Coast distributor for all for uh, Liquid Death. So. Oh wow. Yeah, now that they're just like, hey, uh, put uh, porn in all your scenes, or put Liquid Death in all your scenes. Murder your thirst. That's a lot. I mean, I, I, also, it, it's a very good thing for like sober people. Like you're at a bar, you oh, want to yeah. feel like you're fucking drinking. So nice. It's like here we go. Yeah. Um, who do I look up to in comedy? Hey, Toronto Base as well. Hi, Jen. What comedy bars are your favorite here? The Comedy Bar. In Toronto, that's the best club. Go there, support that. There's two locations, one downtown, one east side. That's by far the best comedy club you're gonna find in, in Toronto. Um, who do I look up to? Her name's Deborah De Giovanni. If you look her up, very hilarious comedian. She's also from Toronto. She was like my inspiration. Uh, first live show I ever saw. I was 18 years old, I was in high school, and everybody kept telling me I should be a comedian, all my friends, my teachers. Mm -hmm. And then I went to see her and she was unbelievable and I, like holy shit and I went up to her after and she was so fucking nice and she was like you know sometimes comics can be assholes like when you you know you, like a lot of people say like, you don't always want to meet your heroes because you meet them they're like fucking pieces of shit That's but she was <laughs> so fucking nice to me she was like oh my god you should do it you'd be great and I was like oh my god I'm gonna do it and then I started taking um improv classes when I was uh 18 and then I started doing stand-up like right after that oh wow yeah so, and she's amazing Canadian me yeah she's been on so many TV shows yeah Deb to Giovanni look her up she's incredible very nice woman um yeah but it's it's a lot it's like, when I say that, I'm like 19 years I'm like that's a long time it's a lot of shows ah the dog's almost in my purse hi dolls I love you I hate how cute she is do you sleep with her in bed yeah how can you not oh she sleeps she, 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 <gasps> she sleeps around my armpit I need to get a picture of her. I can't. I'm obsessed with this lucky dog. Does she like other dogs? Huh? Does she like other dogs? Yeah, she gets she's skittish of everything at first, but she uh she actually is a fucking terror. She Including me. I think I, I think my voice scares some animals. Horses though love my voice. Oh yeah? I've given a lot of horses boners before. Huh. Well, two to be exact, not a lot. I'm bra people could be bragging about my horse boners. Um Hey man, you know, sometimes uh there's always business for all those things. Oh, she just went to Comedy Bar on Friday. Yeah, it's the best. Jen, lovely. Follow me on Instagram. I'll be uh, in Toronto very soon in August. Come see me live. Forcing you to follow me. Uh, do you, does your fiance live here too? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, She's a little farther away from here. Huh? She's moving out here uh, very soon, actually. Mmm. Wow. Mm. Really get into the gravy back here. This is. Where is chicken fried steak originated from? Fucking south. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I've never, I, I've seen it on menus when I travel and stuff, but I've never been like, I this want is, that. This is one of those things that I've had, and I don't know how people have a day after this. You are fucking, <laughs> does that mean I'm, that, well, I'm never doing anal now after this? Nah. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, but, no. um, yeah, this is, uh, this is, this is a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, is, this is, you're so excited. I didn't know, where's the bacon even going? I'm confused. Uh, well, I'm gonna put that in there with the gravy. I just need to cook it up real fast. Oh, it's going into the gravy. Well, I was gonna sprinkle it Good on top with the- uh, Christ. Some of the other things. Some of the other things. I forgot there was potatoes. This is just carbs. We're just, this is it. And then I'm gonna gain 10 pounds today almost, and then they'll be done. We're almost there. I'm very excited. Are you excited for this? This is, this is, I haven't had, also, I haven't had a man cook me a meal in a very long time. Actually, I don't remember the last time a man cooked me a meal. Well, that's what I'm here wow. for. Wow. Look at this. 
Yeah. Doesn't first end. man to cook you a meal is a porn star. How's that feel? Yeah, well, the, he's not the first. This doesn't be crazy. Sorry, I mean, sorry. The, the, <laughs> in a long time. In a long time, yeah. That's definitely for sure. Yeah, I haven't... Um, I can't remember last time. I, I've cooked for men before. My signature dish is a um, chickpea curry. Oh, nice. Yeah, chickpea sweet potato curry. I don't know. I just... Very easy recipe. It's not... It's not hard at all, but that that's simple stuff. Very easy. I, I'm not this. This is a lot. I can't do all this. Yeah, this is um. That's not hard. Yeah, you like something hard. It's it. It'd be easier if I would didn't have to do everything. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're really it's uh, very thick gravy. We are. That's. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's Need nice. Anything more else? I, I like. I have too many flavors mm. in my mouth again. No, that's good. Yeah. That's flavorful. That's cool. My god, this is I'm wet. This is it. This is my porn. This fucking oh, that is tasty. I could just drink a fucking pint of gravy right now, dude. I love gravy. I never get to eat it. It's such a bummer. <laughs> see, again, this is why I gotta be porn star. I like to eat gravy and drink beer. No one has to see the body. Your body is out there. Do you wax or do you shave? Shave, no, you keep that looking good, yeah. And there it was. I haven't seen abs like that in a long time either. I was like, mm -hmm. those are <laughs> what abs look like. I don't know. Nobody's abs anymore. And I, I, I gotta hang out with more porn stars. Well, I mean, you hang out with uh, Samantha, so. I love Samantha. Yeah. We do sketches together, and she's very. Yeah, well, because I, I already asked you too before, because I want to do some funny sketches with yeah, you guys. Like, I want to. So yeah, we want to do like a, a joke, step sibling I, stuff. I Have you seen any of our sketches? Oh, they're very funny. Because we do the whole, like, we just make fun of, like, classic porn. It's like the classic porn setup, and then I just twist it where it's. You know. I mean, it's like you came on this. I was on your show. I'm super yeah, down to do Yeah, and now we got well, now we got a collab. We got a new sketch room. Three, the three of us. Oh my god. Would you be down to make a like a special just female comedy? Yeah, there's. I think there's a couple out there right now. Jessica Pearson put one out. Um, yeah, it's all female driven. I think it's on Netflix. I don't know. Maybe it's on Hulu. But she did that because there's like, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of funny women out there. There's a lot of funny people. Everyone, I mean, people always get mad too. They're like, oh, you think uh, just comedians are funny? Like, like guys with the me be like, I'm funny too. I'm like, yeah, most people are funny. But you're not. Most people. But you're not funny like timing funny and yeah, how like, you guys are funny because you do it every day. You know? Yes, but I mean, I mean, like my two, my like my sister and my best friend in Toronto, funniest people I know. Both mm. not comedians. Yeah. But they're witty as hell. And they're funny as shit. But I'm like, they're. That's it. Oh my god. Uh, just, just smelling the gravy, like, smelling the bacon. I'm like, bacon is the best smell in the world. That should be a cologne. Mm. Why isn't it? I yeah, because there's bad people out there who don't want us to do that. Because I mean, we we'll never leave a good. bedroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's the thing. I just I made a thing the other day. It was uh, French toast, but I made it a brick of uh, uh, I can't remember the bread. I made a brick of it, cut out the middle, filled mm. it with uh, uh, cream cheese, vanilla filling, then mm. fruit, then Nutella, then fruit, then oh it, my built it all the way up. God. Uh, uh, the powdered sugar on the uh, the sugar and cinnamon all around the outside of it with a um, oh what the fuck was that oh oh a bourbon bourbon maple syrup. Oh. How are you not obese? Oh, Any sense? Wow! Yeah. Oh my god! Signature reserve. <laughs> Start chugging it. <laughs> I, I don't oh want to drink. Oh my god! That's fucked up. Yeah, that's good, right? That's crazy. Yeah. No, I can't have that in my house. Yeah, dude, uh, the whole the whole French toast thing was absolutely... Uh, it, it went good. It looked great. I could eat about half of this thing, and I was like, I can't eat that much sugar. No, it's, it's a lot of sugar. So that's, much. Yeah, that's too much. Um, But, you know, she ate the whole fucking thing. I mean, yeah. Skinny porn bitches, man. They just... God that damn shit it. Down. They must work out a lot, too, the women. No. No? They're young. Their metabolisms are fast. Fuck them. Yeah. Bitches. <laughs> it's like, they just... <laughs> they, there's some of these girls who just... They're just small. They just, and they just had that good metabolism. Yeah, I know. I love small friends. Mm. Jealous. I'm very jealous of small friends. Uh, no worries. We'll be done here in a second. Guys. I'm salivating. I'm slipping off this chair from my food juice, right? <laughs> we can call that or just sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also sweating. No, I am. I'll tell you to sterilize the chair. Go I'm wearing shorts. I'll smell it when you nothing. leave. You trust me, you want to. Mm. There you go. <laughs> Have you ever had sex with a Bulgarian person before? Oh, where? Bulgarian? I don't know. I don't. They, I, I realized uh, kind of early in the industry that 
If you ask people what their nationality is as a white person, sometimes it comes off weird. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. It's a so, yeah, yeah, I try to kind of don't stick away asking. from certain things, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't be asking. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to throw people off before I have to no. fuck them. You know. But you said you have had sex with a comedian before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Want to be the first? But right. <laughs> why not second, third? Huh? Well, well, well. Excuse me. I've never had sex before, sir. I feel like it's everybody's dream. Hey, I, but I'm just, I'm just gonna have sex that. with. Why would you want to just have it with me when you can have it with me and Samantha? And I mean, like, I'm not saying no to that. Yeah, I, I, really, I'm not like, over here saying you get the twofer. <laughs> we just use you like a fucking you know pocket pussy and fuck I, you, stupid. I mean, that's. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm just saying. I feel I'm like too close to Samantha now. So? Oh. <laughs> I, mean, I feel like it's weird to have sex with a good friend. Why? I don't it's know. It's weird if you make it weird, okay? I guess I'm not making it weird. I'm like, it's too, I think I'd laugh. At what? I just, the scenario, I think no, it'd be silly. No, no, know what we would do? We'd be like, oh, look at her, she's cute. Look at her No, and I'd be like all like shy Anal? and weird, and I'd be like, no, but that's the nice part. You work with people like us. I say work like it's yeah. So. Yeah, this and is when work. you fuck wait, wait. with people like us, we're gonna. Yeah. Yeah, it's like no worry. It's definitely not gonna be a camera on. No word, just feeling. I mean, look, I'm gonna text Samantha the second I leave and be like, I think we're having sex. Um, she'll be like, yes. <laughs> yeah, she's like yes. She's like, oh my fucking god. I do miss her. She's great. Oh my god, that looks nuts. Very excited. Almost, guys. Oh, we I are. Don't care. We are so close. We are close. This is. It's too good. All of it. It's. Yeah. We're gonna do that. Crunch mm -hmm. that up into little bits. Sprinkle it on top. Gravy, mashed potatoes. Oh God. <laughs> oh, they ask people. They do talk a lot of crud, though. What the hell is he talking about? Talk a lot of crud. Female comedians. Is that what you mean? Power Ranger X. What the hell is he what? talking? About? Time to schedule a threesome. Look, I might be in a threesome. I hate to break it to you guys. Mm. Gotta do everything once in life. And um, I've, I've had a threesome with a guy and a girl before. Yeah, how was it? She started crying halfway through and said that she had, it was in a relationship. High five. It's kind of a nightmare. <laughs> Actually kind of a nightmare. I'm like, I'm single. I can keep fucking the guy. I'm like, I, I don't need to be. Mm. Uh, it's not, I don't want to stop. Do you want me to do but something? Uh, you have a... Fast. Hmm? Excuse me, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, watch it. That's that's a burn. That's a big burn. Oh my sweet lord! I have a joke about this, but like it never does well. I always say I would suck more dicks if I had like a little like seasoning station beside my bed. Like it would hurt your penis, but like you know when you get like a Bloody Mary made, like oh. that, like the rim, just like a little salt dip around the rim. Girl, mm. it would not mm. hurt my dick at all. Salty, I've, salty. I've taken some rough things. Yeah, have you ever had your dick? Bleeding before? Yeah. I've had girls just straight molar the son of a bitch. Just oh god, damn girl. And you still have to be like, okay, I'm yeah, hard. you're still gonna stay hard. You gotta pop, man. Oh, Puddles wants some bacon. She's like, oh, I smell bacon, and I want it. God, she's Do you give her table scraps? Uh, no. No, I don't do that. I either. want to, but she no, goes they get fat. And they no, it's fat. not. That. I just don't want her to get those bad habits. We were doing that for a second, and then she just kind of like she would just fucking through. Like, yeah, 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 I can't yeah. have you doing this, dog. No. Um, She's so cute. Oh, that's sweet. You have nice feet. Me? Yeah. Thank you. Not a lot of men uh, know how to cut their toenails, or you, they're very clean. I notice. I notice everything. I take it all in, you, you every know. little bit. I that's that's my comedian brain. Everything's sucking in every aspect of every room. Yeah, um, uh, I've been told that once or twice. Puddles, puddles, you're gonna, you're gonna burn. Thank you. Don't touch um, it. Puddles. <laughs> it's yeah, they're very nice. They're very well kept. Thank like you. Clean. I try my darndest to make everything look nice, even though like feet are not exactly the uh, go-to spot. No, but it's like a lot of guys. They have that dirt in the corner of their nails. Yeah. I see it all. I'm sure. Taking it all in. You gotta, you, if your feet are out, they gotta be clean. You gotta wearing sandals. Sandal season's back. We gotta be clipping those toenails. And also, just, just, you know, try, try to keep it nice, guys. It's not hard to be a clean man. Yeah, because girls, uh, they see it. They see it. We see them. it all. We see it all. We... All right. Boss. And you're back. And we're back. We didn't go anywhere. We're back. Okay, cool. Let's. Do this the best way I can. Mm. 
my sweet nectar of the gods. If you think I'm not going to finish this whole thing, no one's, not, no one's thinking that. <laughs> I was like, no, it's... Wow, 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 wow. I might have to get a little story on this on my Instagram. Yeah, go ahead. Because I mean, I mean, I hate to break it to you right now. Sorry, we gotta get, we gotta get, get you on the gram. People know I'm hanging out with porn stars. Gotta feel cool. Do it up. Fix the hair here. Okay. Just having a, a home cooked meal here from Nathan. Hi. First time I've had a man cook for me, and um, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. He also does porn, and I watch it. Anyways, go back to this. <laughs> <laughs> Added that in for no reason. <laughs> okay, oh, you know yeah, you're getting tagged. You're getting tagged in here. There it is. There it is. My dad's gonna watch that. Be like, sorry, what was that? Well, I told my dad I was coming here to do this. And he's like, what's the show called? I go hang with Nathan, and then I was like, I realized how that sounds like you're just dicks gonna be. I'm like, oh, I'm like, no, no, his penis will be in his clothes, and he's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Um, that sounds not real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. How well, did you two meet? Someone's asking, I met through Samantha Mac, actually. Yeah. I was looking for people to do my podcast, and Samantha was like, I got some funny people who are porn stars who definitely have stories. <laughs> my sweet nectar, I can't look away from this. I'm very distracted right now. Is this blocking the camera view? It needs to be full, full sandwich in there. Full right there. frame. Oh my goodness. Oh, is... Why? Did you just go to sleep on that fucking no. shot? No. You piece of shit. No. Oh. God, this is so fucked <laughs> this up. This is so fucked up. Oh. You know what? I just came. I mean, look at this. <laughs> look at th I mean, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Yeah, just a little bit more, one more thing. I'll put that on at the end. Let's cut this in half. It's fucking psychotic. <clears throat> yeah, you don't need a whole one. I mean, you can eat a whole one, but oh my fucking Christ. And what's this? We got a little, oh, little Parmesan. sprinkle. A little Parmesan. Oh my God. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I've never salvated more my life. Oh, uh -huh. petals. Sweet nectar um, of the gods. Have a look. It's pretty good. Let me show you. Yeah, this needs to be portrait mode, goddammit. Oh my fucking Christ. Dude, <laughs> like, I need a piece of bacon. I need something. God, it tastes so good. I can't handle what's about to happen. Salvating. Salvation right now. Alright. So, I'm gonna let you go ahead and do the honors on that one. I started eating while you're. Well, oh, I'm gonna make mine. Right I was now. like, yeah, well, wait. I'm gonna start eating right now with a psychopath. Mm 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 mm. I mean. <laughs> I, this is like, I, I'm never eating again. I can't handle this. Chicken fried steak with oh my god sandwich. I think you don't. Oh yeah, so this is we needed this before the diet. Like I hate to break it. <laughs> yeah, this, <laughs> this needed to happen. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I literally I mean. woke up this morning and was like, "That's oh. it, got it." Mm. Oh my god. Oh my. What? Why is it so good? <coughs> My God. <Yeah. coughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the opening of it. <coughs> what am I choking on? Right. God damn it. Parmesan on top. Yeah, choke. I gotta enjoy it. Alright. Oh my god. I'm just like, I can't believe I'm just trying not to be a big pig. But I want it to be so bad. Mmm. 
Eat big, enjoy. Yeah, someone said they gained 45 pounds watching. Yeah. Yeah. How do you even? I'm super stoked. Okay. <laughs> I've never been more excited in my life. Mm. The middle. So good. Mm. Mm. That is so fucking good. Oh. We've just gained 14 pounds. Oh my god. Mm hmm. Mm. Sorry, I should tenderize the meat a little more. It's a little bit mm -hmm. hard to chew through, but it's fucking. Mm. The fucking bread. Mm -hmm. My god. My god. Mm. Do we just keep eating now? Yeah. Do <laughs> they keep watching us? It's insane. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. I need a nap or something. This is. I'll be out. Oh, thank you. I'm like, this, is, this is disgusting. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. It's mm. it's a lot. Oh my god. This is the best hangover food I think I've ever had in my life, though. I. Mm hmm. Oh, jeez. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, um. Wow. Tell these people where they can find you. Oh my god. And all the stuff. Um. Mm. What's coming up? Stuff like that. Find me on yeah on Instagram. Okay. At Steph Tolev on TikTok. At Steph Tolev T O L E V. But, uh, listen to my podcast, Steph Infection, and my other podcast called Slobs. Come see me live. I'll be in Toronto in August. I'm out in LA for the next month, couple months. I'm in Imp uh, I'm in Phoenix. I'm mm. in Colorado Springs. Just follow me on Instagram. That's all I'm saying. That's it. Follow me uh, having sex with Nathan after we eat this. Um, <laughs> By sexy months, us passing out mm -hmm. on each other because we're not gonna have sex. No, there's no way. This is insane. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Hanging with Nathan. Keep coming mm. back. Mm. Bye. Mm. Fuck. My God. This is insane. <laughs>